What's up y'all? I'm back out here at the range again under some nice sunny blue skies. Temperature's a little cool out here today, but it ain't nothing I can't handle to get some testing done. And this one right here ought to be a very interesting 22 LR test. So we got the jelly contraption set up with the chrono and two freshly melted blocks of gel. No tests at all done in these. So this one's gonna give us a really good clear picture of what happens. I'm also sticking with my heavy clothing barrier for this one with the layer of denim, layer of fleece, and then two layers of the cotton t-shirt material. And what we're checking out, like I said, is some 22 LR. To be more specific, it's the Augula 22 Sniper Subsonic. It's their 60 grain. If any of y'all hadn't seen this before, it's a crazy looking little thing. The projectile is actually longer than the case is. As you can see there, just a little old bitty stubby case with a big 60 grain chunk of lead on the end. As far as our box ballistics, they've got 950 feet per second, which we're definitely not going to see that today because these are meant for longer barrels, obviously, but that's not what we're running them out of today. Now, those of y'all who watch my ammo hunt videos know that these were actually sent to me to test out and the person who sent these to me wanted them tested out of a shorter barrel like i said they're not meant for a shorter barrel but that's what they wanted them tested out of so that's what we're going to do here and now specifically they had an naa little mini revolver with a one and five eighths inch barrel now i've got a little naa mini here it's a little belt buckle edition if y'all hadn't seen that pretty cool but mine is a little bit shorter barrel mine's got a one and one eighth inch barrel so i'm going to use this to test anyway just because i think it's pretty cool but i've also got a couple more things one of them a lot closer to what he's looking for so what i'm going to use that's basically the same barrel length as his naa is this heritage barkeep boot model this is actually a 1.68 inch exactly barrel which is right on the money with a uh, inch and five eighths that his naa is and then i figured we may as well throw in a third one here a little bit longer so i'm going to use the tx22 compact with a 3.6 inch barrel now this thing's also got a one in ten twist rate which is a little faster rate than like the standard 22 so it should be interesting to see if it stabilizes these subsonics which now we're going to be so close that it's probably going to be hard to tell but should be some interesting stuff anyway so like i said these short barrels are definitely not what this ammo is meant to be run out of but it should be interesting to see what we get anyway let me set this stuff up and let's check them out all right let's see if we can get us some speeds on these things i'm gonna try to get a five round average from each one with the start with the naa then we'll do the bar keep then we'll do the tx22 compact now i moved much closer than i am usually usually i'm at 10 feet backwards now right here with outstretched arms i'm probably probably two feet a foot and a half to two feet uh, these are up close and personal kind of things anyway and plus i'm not sure just how wildly inaccurate they are at a distance so i don't want to blast my chrono but let's see if we can get them to read for us like i say i'm gonna try five but if i can get three to read something like that then i'm just going with it and i got a feeling this is going to give us some problems this little old tiny thing i can barely even hold this little old tiny thing let's see what we can do here Got 626. I mean, this thing is just hard to hold on to. Six thirty. Six fourteen. So that's three so far. So far, so good. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I believe we got a light primer strike there. Let's try that last one. I believe this is the fifth one, ain't it? That's a duplicate 614, so that's probably an error. Let me go grab a couple more. All right, I got rid of that last duplicate, so I'm gonna run two more there. Looks like it seems to be reading okay. I put that one that had the light strike, I guess, back in here. We'll see if we can uh, if we can get it to hit this time. It didn't really look all that light on the primer there, so, but let's see. I tell you, I can barely hold this little thing. This is <laughs> This little thing's crazy. All right, that was the one that hit the first time. So 639, let's get one more. All right, then that last one was 642. I'm telling you, these things are just so hard to hold on to for me. You can see that. I can barely even get a finger on the grip, but let's check the average on this thing. All right, so our five round average from this little NAA was 630 feet per second. So it definitely ain't moving real fast. Let me get it reset and let's see what the barkeep does. All right, let's see what this little barkeep boot can do, y'all. Like I say, this one's got a 1.68 inch barrel. So right at an inch and five eighths. Now I'm gonna stay close with this one too, because it, it, as you can see, there ain't even no size on this thing so it might be even worse as far as accuracy than that naa was but let's see what we get here with it y'all hopefully this one don't give us any trouble with reading we got 685 662 
606. 667. And 626. So we had a couple low ones there. I guess it just is what it is. Maybe ammo inconsistency is probably a lot of us with the tolerances in this bar key, but not a whole lot of difference between that NAA actually. So let's check the average. All right. So our five round average that time was 649. So barely any difference between this and that NAA, which makes sense because there's very little barrel length difference between them and they're both revolvers. So let me reset this one more time and let's see what the TX22 can do for them. All right. One more time, y'all. Five round average from the tx22 compact we should see a pretty good difference on this one i'm gonna stay at this same close distance just so everything's consistent throughout the testing but let's see what we get here like i say i'm expecting a pretty good bit of difference 690 726 734 oh nothing there 710 and was that yeah i need to get one more round all right one more y'all and 730 so not bad on that one and definitely a lot faster than those last two and i'm glad to see that this cycled those uh those crazy long projectiles i was kind of wondering if this would have any cycling problems but none at all all right that definitely sped it up some there our five round average this time was 710 feet per second uh and if you remember out that bar keep it was 649 so you're talking about what almost 60 feet per second difference there between the bar keep and the tx22 and then if you remember on the little naa it was 630 so you're talking about 80 feet per second slower than the tx22 with that naa so that's a pretty big difference that's well over 10 percent um either way though i don't think these things are going to do much of anything in the jail i'm curious to see the penetration but obviously we're not going to get any kind of expansion out of them we'll probably get some tumbling but that's about it i would say well, let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's heavy lead jelly time i'm gonna put one round into the gel from each one of these starting with the naa first uh, i'm still at this same distance it's gonna be about two feet from the front of the gel with my outstretched arms so let's see what this thing does i'm not expecting much out of any of these to be honest with you but who knows, stranger things have happened. All right, I think I went exactly where I wanted. Let me go down there and see what happened. All right, y'all, that was looking about as sad as I figured it was going to look. So let's try this bar keep. I think we're going to get about the same out of this bar keep, but let's see what she does here. All right, that should have been a good one there. I heard something clink off in the distance, but that was probably just an echo. Let me see what happened. All right, we did actually get a little bit of improvement on that one. So let's send one out of this TX-22 and see what it does. I've tried to go at the very bottom here. I'm running out of, I'm running out of vertical space there, but I think we got enough room. All right, that one went really, really low. Let me see if I managed to stay out the bottom. All right, let's check out what we got down here, y'all. Absolutely perfect placement with these things. I hope the rest of my test today go as well as this one did, but obviously we got progressively better performance the longer the barrel got here. On the top, that was the one out of the little NAA mini revolver. As you can see, not much going on there. Pretty much a straight line. I would guess around in this area right here is where that thing tumbled, because it is sitting backwards. All three of these are sitting backwards, by the way, so they all tumbled somewhere. I'm guessing this one was right there just by the look of the disruption. Um, as far as penetration, I'll measure it, but it looks maybe a third of the block, so not much penetration at all. And then moving on down next, that was the little barkeep boot model. Pretty much the same story. Comes in straight right there. There's no doubt that's where this one tumbled and kept on going a little bit further, sitting backwards. Like I said, no deformation out of any of these. Now, this one looks like it's a little bit over halfway of this block, but still not very much penetration. And then rounding it out, of course, is the TX-22 here on the bottom. Again, 
again, basically the same story. Comes in straight here, tumbles right there. There's no doubt about it. Goes a little bit further and sitting down there backwards again. This one, I would say probably two thirds of the way into this block. So as far as our penetration, the one here out of the little NAA Mini got six and three quarter inches. So not very much there. The one out of the bar keep is at exactly 10 inches. And then the one from the TX-22 is exactly 12 and a quarter inches. So if you're going by the FBI standards, the TX-22 is the only one that even met the minimum there and it just barely did. I believe that gave you a pretty good picture, but just in case, here's a little bit closer look down there on the bottom. That's the one from the TX-22. Like I said, there's no doubt it tumbled right there. Kept on trucking through here and there's that one backwards. There's the one from the bar keep. We'll follow it back. Pretty much same story. Here's a little bit of angle from underneath. You can see there's no doubt that's where that one tumbled. And then going up top here, that's the first one from the NAA. Not near as much disruption even where it tumbled, but I'm guessing it was right in there. And then there's your projectile there backwards. All right, let's take a quick look at these projectiles. There ain't really a whole lot to see here. No kind of deformation, obviously no expansion, nothing like that. They're basically intact, just like they were in the case. One thing that is pretty interesting though is seeing the markings from the bores in these different barrels. This one right here was the NAA. It looks to be maybe a little tighter than the other ones. You can see it's got some pretty good wear on it. And then moving on along down, this one was from the bar keep, some wear there. And then this one here from the TX-22, just just a little wear there too but just different it's pretty interesting to see how they're marked up differently from the different bores but let's check the weights on them right quick and see what we got there so they all started at 60 this one here from the tx22 60.0 so 60 on the dot this one from the bar keep is 59.9 and then this one from the naa 59.6 so probably a little loss on that one like i say it looks shaved down a little bit but they're all seem like they're well within tolerance so obviously there's no expansion at all but i want to just check the diameters just out of curiosity so this was out of the tx22 you got 223 222 and then this one here is from the bar keep you got 221 and 221 again and then this last one here from the naa you got 225 and 221 so all three of them right where they should be as far as size now some people are probably curious about the length too since these things are such a long projectile you got a length on the projectile of 643 and your case is only 430 so that's a crazy projectile for a 22 lr but there you have it y'all the ogula 22 lr subsonic 60 grainers definitely some big old strange 22 lrs uh, i've actually got a box or two of this that i already had that i had planned on doing some testing out of some longer barrels because it can be tricky to get the right uh, twist rate to get these things to stabilize but as far as this one here pretty much what i expected to see out of these shorter barrels like i say these things are definitely not meant for these shorter barrels and it shows you just got very little penetration you got tumbling out of all three of them which isn't necessarily a bad thing in this case but that's just something that's a random chance that tumbling y'all know i've talked about that before you just can't guarantee what kind of tumble you're going to get if you're going to get one and how it's going to affect performance but personally if i were going to use 22 lr for defensive use this definitely wouldn't be my first choice all right, y'all, that's a wrap for this strange little 22 LR round. Like I said, really nothing surprising here. Again, these things are definitely not meant for these shorter barrels, but it was kind of interesting to see what they would do out of the three of them. But let me know what y'all think about these heavy 22 LR rounds. Do some of y'all out there use these things? What do you use them for? What do you run them out of? Like I said, I do plan on still testing these out of some longer barrels with some different twist rates to check out the stabilization on them. So make sure y'all stay on the lookout for that one. If you did enjoy the video, take a second, hit that thumbs up button Button, subscribe to the channel and make sure you got your notifications on so you don't miss anything when i upload it take a second check out those affiliate links in the video description if you shop through amazon hit that storefront link up down there you go right through amazon just like normal from there and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel same deal with those axle links check out those gs extreme earbuds those are some fantastic ear pro and if you go through those links down there you can save a pile of money instead of hitting their site directly as always i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one y'all out there for supporting the channel tons of really good stuff coming y'all's way so be on the lookout and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon